I'm Lex. And I'm Neek. We're here at the William S. Hart Museum. Yeah, it used to be his home. Um, it's a really big property. And William S. Hart used to be a Western movie star, probably one of the first. Yes, he was uh, active during the silent era uh, from 1914 to 1925. He was a big star who made over 70 different features. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, he was most known for making epic Westerns, uh, like you know, before Dances with Wolves or John Ford, he was making the uh, epic Western. Mm -hmm. And uh, and he had a horse uh, named Fritz. And yes. Fritz was pretty famous. Um, he was a precursor to like um, Gene Autry's Champion or Roy Rogers' Trigger. Um, yeah, the, the first uh, you know, famous horse. Uh, right. And, uh, uh, so it was something that, uh, uh, yeah, he basically was active, yeah, until 1925. That He retired then because that was when uh, Tom Mix uh, right. was uh, becoming famous. And he was doing a bit different style of Western, more of, you know, the, you know, quick action, uh, shoot em up kind of uh, Westerns. Uh, but uh, I think they're all great in their own way, and I think you know we're really going to enjoy being here at the William S. Hart yeah. Museum. And we're going to visit um, his home. We're going to visit the grounds, and we hope you enjoy the visit with us. Just wanted to get some more gorgeous view on the sun deck here. We've got uh, uh, six flags out in the distance and snow-capped peaks. This is the William S. Hart Museum. This is his, his home, his mansion. thinking is that this was like the ultimate party deck. I mean, you've got the, you know, nice fountain here. Uh, if it's, you know, a uh, hot day, you've got the deck there for shade. It's really cool. Still out here by the courtyard deck. Just wanted to show some of the uh, beautiful view that we have. Yeah, look at this. What's that? What is that? Something that was left here. It looks like it was uh, made out of the same material as most of the um, structures around here. The whoa! Whoa! You almost fell. I almost oh fell. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I just almost fell. That's a good two-foot drop. Good thing it wasn't any more. <laughs> All right, so this is the next part of our visit to the William S. Hart Ranch Museum because it's so big that we have to big. basically split it up, right? Right, we do <laughs> because the uh, museum, uh, his big home, uh, is at the top of the hill, mm -hmm. and then there's a, a trail that leads uh, from there to the ranch house at the bottom of the hill. Yeah, and so. Um, Right now, we're going to be taking the nature trail and showing that to you. Yeah. And going to different, um, I don't know, houses, structures around the area. Mm hmm And then um, see what happens. We There's some animals down there, too. Maybe we could show yeah, a lots, of them. Yeah, lots of animals on the trail, both uh, in uh, ca captivity, but also wild all around. I think there'll be all kinds of things we'll see. Yeah. All right. See ya. 
Okay, starting along the trail, got a whole lot of cactus here. Uh oh, there's a oh sign boy. that says. You've got to watch out for rattlesnakes. Oh, yeah. Along the trail is a dog's graveyard. Oh, there's the dog cemetery. Tombstones for his dogs. I'm not sure which building this is here. I don't know. I don't know which building that is. Yeah, because the ranch house is down there. The home museum is farther up. Um, Lex? Yeah. Yeah, we're going higher up. Yeah. And now, I'm not sure what this building is. I guess we'll find out soon. Yeah. Okay, so we found out this was the bunkhouse. The bunkhouse. Let's go in. Or actually, I don't think we can go in. Well, this is the front of the bunkhouse, and um, I don't think these irons were here before, I mean. <laughs> Unless it was a jail, so. Oh, too bad. Can't really see anything in there. Oh, look at that old lamp. So where does this lead, Lex? I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't seen any signs yet. Uh-huh. But there's something gated off. I know we're... Oh, you know what? I think that's the, uh, the museum or the, his house. Yeah, I think we're heading back toward the museum. I'm just not sure if there's something more along the way. Mm-hmm. Why don't we try take this other trail back? facts they've got here. So buffalo is actually an incorrect term. These are bison that are native to the Midwestern prairies and they often live up to 40 years. Three of them here now. Yeah. They're so cute. They are. They seem uh, like they're just relaxing, yeah. going about their day. They're cute, but don't go near them. No. They got big <laughs> horns. They sure do. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a close-up on one of those horns. Oh, now he's walking away. But you... Oh, yes, I can see your horns there, sir. They are quite big. grazing away. Symbol of the Old West.